Hey guys, how are you? Hope everyone's hanging in there. We're getting closer. Places are reopening. This is good progress. Um, we're gonna ignore this glare I've got going. I'm trying to get near windows as often as I can just to feel like I got out in the world a little bit, but there's a sunset coming in right now, so it's a little bit in my face. I'm gonna see if I can sort of move you, maybe. No, that's not helping much. All right, it is what it is. This is not uh, real high tech. All right, maybe if I move, there we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, today's video, I promised a book review that I'd start doing book reviews on various hauls I did. This is going to be a book review on this book um, called Selfie Made. Now, if you watched my book boxing, unboxing haul thing that I did, you will know that I have said I really have a hard time giving books anything less than three stars just because I know what it's like. I know what goes into publishing a book and I understand like how hard an author works, but this one's going to be an exception. If I'm being so generous, I'll go two stars. But this book, swear to God, guys, don't waste your time. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm old. I'm old. I mean, let's just be real. I'm 45 and maybe it's because I can't do... It reminds me of Valley Girl slang. I read a book like this. Um, fashion something. I should look on BookTube. Somebody will know it. Um, it was a book of the month book. and I, It was one of the only books I've ever DNF'd. And I DNF'd that book because it was... The main character, her, her speech pattern was like... Like, really, like, wow, groovy. I mean, well, not groovy, because now I'm getting, like, even older than I actually am. But it was just, like, valley girl kind of talk. Which, you know, if that's your thing, far be it for me. I actually have an author writing a character in a, um entwined anthology that I'm working on called Murder Maker with that slang and that twang and that whatever. And frankly, it's inspiring me to want to kill her because I'm the killer a whole other, whatever. The point is there is some kind of, like, something about the voice automatically turned me off. Um, it literally says, like, LOL, instead of laughing out loud. It's, like, written with hashtags. And I get it. It's selfie-made. Like, we're supposed to be... This is by someone who I'm probably supposed to know. Meredith, I'm going to hold it up for you. Uh... You know, the sun glare. Meredith, all that. Supposedly, we're all supposed to know who she is. She is the co-founder of Digitour. She started the company with her husband. Um, I'm sure she's great at what she does. I can tell she's great at what she does. But the way the book was set up and the content in the book was just not for me. Um, all right, let's find the positives, okay? Because we've got to find positives. I, I need positives. I thought I'd like this. It's set up in a way that's pretty easy to read. Anything you see um, in blue is where they actually went to a social influencer, meaning someone who has a large following that sort of is influencing trends. I mean, you, you guys know what influencers are, I would imagine. Um, and that's great. And, and a lot of this book is how to basically become a social influencer, which is not my goal. So that Right there, there's a caveat, might be why this book didn't do it for me. There's just so I feel awful doing this. But there was so much wrong with this book that even the $3.99 I paid on Book Outlet made me, like, ugh. Anything would be better than $3.99 on this book. They're just... I don't know. I need to do a good review next, I guess. Let's find good things. We're gonna... I, I marked a couple of good things. Um... She talked about popular fandoms and how if you want to become an influencer and you want to quickly build a following, one way to do it is go to the people that you follow and you admire and find out what their fandoms are. So basically, say you were like super into Harry Potter. Go on to BookTube, find someone like Chelsea Darling Reads and start following the same fandoms as her. Get involved with the people that run those fandoms. Obviously, you don't have J.K. Rowling setting up her fandoms and, and, and running that, right? So the key is, according to this book, get to know the influencers who run the 
fandom rather than, you know, try to actually get to know the author. That all made sense. I thought that was okay advice. Um, but again, it's not, it maybe I didn't love this book because it didn't feel relevant. There were several sections on YouTube, but again, they didn't hit home with me. They just, um, something about, about the content of the information wasn't all that helpful. Now, I will say this book, I don't think this book is brand new. Let's see when the book came out because I felt like it was a little outdated. Like there wasn't a lot on Twitch and other platforms I would expect to find. Um, so when did this book come out? 2018, so it's not particularly old, but I guess my overall assessment, it was really like, basic stuff like these are the main platforms this is how they're used this is how people have done well on them but i'm not kidding until this tab first tab let's find it so this much of the book if you look that much this bottom part of the book was basically yay i'm me this lady who does this digitor thing, and let me tell you all about me. It didn't feel like it was let me help you. It felt like it was let me tell you all about me. And if there's one thing I've learned with readers as an author, is if you wanna keep your readers, you gotta make it about them too. It can't be, oh, I'm so great. This is why you should listen to me. It needs to be, hey, and, and what do you have to offer? It's gotta be a mutual conversation, and this book was not it. It felt preachy but in a way that I didn't even want to be preached to because I didn't feel that the author was particularly, obviously she's knowledgeable. Her credentials speak for themselves, but the presentation of the actual content was awful. All right, yes, I'm, I'm not even in a bad mood. I, saw it. I wanted to love this book. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, finding your platform. Again, the content that was presented was just so basic that it was like, okay, come on, we're not living under a rock. It was almost like she was in, underestimating the reader, like, hi, you have lived under a rock and I haven't, and so just do these quick things and suddenly you'll have a million followers. I don't know. It was all common sense stuff. I felt like I knew 90% of it. The stuff I didn't know wasn't stuff I could use. Just two stars. That's all I can do. I can't do one because it's just like two, not Aaron-esque. Um, I did learn about a platform called You Know, and I'll look into it, but I do know. I do know. No, thank you. This book is going to get on hold. I was going to even give it to my son. Thought he might be interested. He's a marketing major, but yeah, he has a private college education. We'll, we'll let his professors do that teaching. I guess that's all I got to say about that, guys. I am so sorry. Next book review, I'm more hopeful. I don't think it gets worse. I don't think it gets worse. <laughs> all right, guys. Until next time, peace, love, books, and crazy.